All right. How do those feel? A lot more difficult than it looks. What's going on, guys? I am here with Entrenek, bodyweight fitness and flexibility expert, and we are going to teach you some front lever drills to help you improve your front lever. Awesome. So Justin here can do a tuck front lever pretty easily, and we're going to go over a bunch of drills to help you advance beyond that. Let's go right into it. First of all, you want to show me your current front lever? All right, here we go. All right, that's a nice single leg front lever pull. All right, and lower down, save your energy. Very nice. Okay, so a really good one is a bar inverted hang. If you haven't messed with this before, it's, it's very simple. I mean, it looks simple, but it, it works really well on a bar. Not so much on the rings, but on the bar. You basically get yourself up. It's like a full front lever, but your legs are and torso are vertical. So go up and just hold yourself like this. Now, when you're here, if you can hold this for like 20 seconds, the next progression is to just move your thighs away from the bar by an inch or two and back. An inch or two or and back. It's a very subtle movement. It looks like I'm doing nothing, but I'm doing a lot. And you can give that a try. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. So just get yourself up into a bar inverted hang. Very nice. Straight body, very perfect. That's good. And then, exactly, you're just pushing your thighs away and pulling them back. Yes, there you go. And a good goal is to do like 10 reps of those. All right. How do those feel? A lot more difficult than it looks. Yeah, it's a really tough exercise. And the reason why you have to do it on the bar rather than the rings is because on the rings, your feet can just go vertical completely. But because the bar is in the way, it's a slight angle. So it makes it like you're, you're holding somewhat like a full front lever. And it's not that easy. I mean, it's not as hard as a full front lever, but it's still up there. And if you can't do a bar inverted hang at all, you could get into it by getting to the top of the ring and then like dipping down. I'll show you really quick. Let's say you are on a low bar and you can get on top of it. Or if there's no low bar like this, you would get on top with a pullover. And then when you're on top, you can just ease your way down and then slowly ease your way into the bar inverted hand. So that's a good way to train it. Pullover is a little bit tough, but uh, it's more skill than anything else. If you can do the tuck front lever easily and you're trying to do the single front leg and you're lowering down into it, it's really common to actually lose the tuck a little bit. So you, when you're first starting to train the single leg front, le front lever, it might feel really hard, but it could be because you're not fully tucking in. You might be tucking in when you're upside down, but as you lower down, you might be advancing the tuck without realizing it. So purposely tuck fully. And so this is the full version. And then the next level after that would be the foot at the opposite knee. And then the next level after that would be the foot at mid shin. So this is really subtle, right? It's just full tuck, foot at knee, and foot at mid shin, which is like almost nothing, but it's a very drastic difference. So you wanna try them? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we'll start with the uh, full tuck. Yeah. So yes. here I am, full tuck. Yes, full tuck and then foot at knee and then foot at mid shin. Okay, so I know so I noticed that you are piking a little bit. You're hinging like yeah. like this. And so that's a sign that you're not ready for the advanced tuck versions and spending time in the inverted bar or 
the full tuck with your um, foot extended is, is the thing you should be focusing on. And take video of yourself to know that if you are level. So let me show real quick. So this is the full tuck version. So you see how I'm like really tucked in. And then, and then this is the, at the foot at the knee. And yeah, now the best way I've found to train any of these is to literally just do go up, go up into the inverted hang or in a tuck, I mean, and then lower down in a progression that is almost impossible to hold. So you just do a negative down. So for you, I would say do it in the fully tucked position until you are not piking at all on the negative. Okay? okay? And so give that a try. Do like three of those in a row. So you go up in a tuck, front lever, all the way up into the inverted hang, or in a full, that's even harder. But yeah, now bring your knee in as you lower down and extend your left leg straight. Squeeze that left glute. Yeah, lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. You don't have to stop, just keep lowering down. Do it one more time. Tuck up, both, both knees up. Both knees up, make it easier on the way up. Extend. Yeah, switch legs, alternate each time. Now keep that left knee in, extend the left foot as you lower down. Don't spend too much time lowering. Oops. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Oh, it's hard. Do you train one side more than the other usually? or? Uh, no, it's usually pretty even, but I definitely am like right dominant Got for it. a lot Got of it. things. That's fine, but that's a really good way to train it is with the negatives. If you could only do one or two right now, that's okay because front lever is a very slow process. Just incremental increases, like very, very slow and incremental is the norm. So, and as, of course, the taller you are and heavier you are, the slower it even is and it might feel like you're going nowhere. But just even adding one rep is extremely helpful. So whenever you went up on your first rep, you went up with a single leg front lever, which also made you more tired. So preferably just go up with both knees in a tuck. It's just like keeping it purposely as easy as possible on the way up. So you lower down with a single front lever. Okay? okay. Yeah. Could you show the audience how it's done? Sure. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that on the negatives, it's very possible that you're doing a slight bend in the elbows. And again, take a video of yourself just to look at the elbows because you might not notice that micro bend because you're busy working, but you will on the video. And then to correct that, I like to just lock, lock, out, the tri lock out the elbows by flexing the triceps. And that really helps to engage that locked arm. Otherwise, you'll be going through progressions with incorrect form, and then you'd have to <laughs> relearn go back, everything. <laughs> go back, go back, and then it's just so it's always better to do things with good form. Yeah. So I hope that was, that was helpful. All right, guys, that's the front lever video for today. If you guys haven't subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button and smash that like button, and make sure you subscribe to this guy as well. He has a lot of great informative content. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. See you.